showtime. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Wake up, full house. Wait until you see all the pretty little girls in here. Yeah. I'm kidding. A house full of little boys. Well, not little boys. Little young men to be in here. Let's Thank go you. On. Thank you for the compliment. Not you, J.C. Good Let's morning. I'm Jamie them. Cooper. This is Athens in the A.E. We got a house full on this Thursday morning. Thank y'all for getting up with us. We're going to talk to these guys in just a moment. The Wild Devils from Limestone County. Woo. What did you need to ask me? Can I have a last piece of pizza? Yeah, go ahead. And eat it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best pizza in the world? Yes. Hey, Joe, hi, Joe Carlucci from New York City. New, New York, York City. City. Dan McDonald from Athens, Alabama. Well, actually, <laughs> Limestone County, yes. Alabama. Yes. And Joseph from University of Alabama. Roll Tide, Joe. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. A yes. former Auburn graduate yeah. whose son now at Jackson is going to the University of Alabama. Awesome. We, we had a good time. Yeah, we good. Roll Tide. Get us here, Joseph. I couldn't say it. Let's hear it. I couldn't say Come it. Roll Eagle. You need to get one of my shirts. Roll Eagle. Dion, come yeah, here. That's true. One of my call. Come here. Huh? One of my best old buddies in the TV business, Dion, in here. Everybody in Limestone County knows this young man making an appearance in here this morning to feature me on Channel 40. Not you. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? This man does more for Limestone County than y'all ever know. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Hey, in a minute, guys, I'm going to interview y'all and get everybody's name. But first of all, how's the pizza? Good. Awesome. Good. Now, are y'all used to getting up this time of day every day? No. I you too much. What do you mean, no? It's too early. When is the, let me ask you, when is the last time you washed your hat? <laughs> Nastiest one in here, huh? I'm going to talk to y'all later. Y'all eat plenty. If you get thirsty, there's some water in the refrigerator. Leave a dollar when y'all get through, okay? That's all you got to do. No. Anything else y'all want to know? Y'all ready? All right. We're going to get this party started in just a little bit. Joe has provided. Joe from New York City. New, New York, York City. City. Before I do that, we got Will in here this morning from Russellville, Alabama. He's an engineer down at, he runs TVA. Uh, all right. He, he, don't, he don't have that. But he ain't off. And he's going to sing a couple songs in just a moment. He says he wanted to sing his favorite one, but his wife wouldn't let him. It's about Mexicans and chickens or something from Russell, isn't it, Will? Huh? Don't get him what? in trouble. Don't get him in trouble. That's the one we wanted to hear. Anyway, let's get this party started. Here's Hey, y'all think it's hot? Y'all y'all don't surely don't play ball in this kind of weather. No, no we play at about 95 degrees. That's about what it is outside right now. Okay. All right, we got a house full. We got all their parents and stuff in here, too. So if anybody walks in front of the camera, let's just go with the flow. All right, let's get it cranking. Here's the with weather forecast. I don't know if there's any rain or not. Only 20% chance of rain today. Right now, we're already seven in the 70s, low 70s, that is. Yesterday was the hottest day of the year, but you know what? It sounds like today is going to get even hotter. That heat index is certainly hot. Keep lots of water available. And, boys, there is water in the refrigerator, and you do not have to leave a dollar for it. And let's see, high temperatures today of 94, and it's going to feel every bit of it for sure. Tomorrow, your high temperature of 95. So just 20% chance of rain for the next couple of days. We did think it was going to be raining on Saturday, but there is that slight chance of those showers and it's later in the afternoon. So it looks like we could see some of those uh, pop-up thunderstorms. It is summertime. Welcome to it throughout the weekend. But for the most part, a good forecast. Isogenics, if you need more energy, you want to drop some pounds, and you just want to feel great, give me a call. I'll tell you all about Isogenics, 603-4848. I do have to say to the lady that saw us at Lowe's, Jamie Cooper is not <laughs> sick. He yeah. lost 21 pounds in a good way. Yeah, her husband sick. comes up to us yesterday and says, Jamie, my wife says you are sick, sick. Oh, you done lost your weight, cut your hair, and you look, you know, you look kind of bad. I said, man, I'm on my last loop. Stop it. <laughs> last melt loop. Well, let me show it to y'all. I'm on my last loop. I've been lost 20 something pounds. That's good. Huh? You can borrow my belt. <laughs> you do look at me. That's that's the pictures I have of us. I wore hey, this the whole two years ago. Stan, I got to give you a shout out, man. You yeah. were known with the time that we have known you all the years as being late Stan. You know, all yeah. the way. But now we've talked about it before. Not anymore. You are been on time, ahead of time, and everything. 
What's the survey that you read said? Uh, yeah, the survey I read said that actually being late is a sign of success, yeah. or, or successful people are late. Well, but maybe I need to start showing up five minutes late for the show every morning. <laughs> no, you do not. That wouldn't be good. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be good. Yeah, hey, go. Joseph, how was Tuscaloosa? It, it is a beautiful campus, and I, I, but I bit my tongue. I didn't. I was just nice. I didn't stir up a stink or anything. Uh, well, that's nice. We didn't see saving or anything. But here's what I was amazed at the most thing. Then I'll shut up about it. 85% of the people that were there this weekend were from out of state. We were the minority. It was, it was weird. I mean, a thousand people what in the auditorium. Wow. You know, Stan? Well, I, it's significantly different. I knew that Alabama was doing a lot of out of state yeah. now. Well, the, the, the population there, student enrollments were up to what? 35, 40,000? They yeah, pay that out of state tuition, though. Yeah, yeah, they do. All right, Joe, what's new with you? First of all, let me set you up with this. We have a new shipment of Hobbs. Farm beef for sale Ooh. down at Joe Carlucci's. Y'all get down that way. Mark Hobbs got out when that cattle turned that cattle truck turned over in Indiana. Peter put that sign. He went and got 30 head of them. So we got them all packed oh. up there, They're ready to go. We have everything. Uh, are we selling yeah, we anything else? We have we're no already out of fillets, so yes. Yeah. Fillets are sold out. So they're out. Yes. We can't keep the fillets. Yeah, I had somebody. Your, your neighbor yesterday wanted four of them. Oh. Well, we can get anything though, right? We? We? Yeah, we get some. Are we going out to get All right, let me take time out right now. We're not going to play probably just Jamie Dye. Let y'all know how that goes. Just a moment. Depends on how we do this. So the buying of sausage today. Guys, y'all get real hungry and you eat all the pizza. You know what you can have today? Buying of sausages. My hometown of New Hope used to be named Diana. The Yankees burned it. Called it New Hope now. Has or anyone in here ever eaten those? You can get Mike Blakely's right, favorite. <laughs> Wow. Pork grains with milk gravy. Oh. Yeah, we got plenty of these to eat this morning. All right, right now let's go to KFC, the number one fried chicken in uh, Athens, Alabama, Limestone County. Here's our sports sponsor, and here's our sports director, Zach. Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports, brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens, Limestone County. And I only can say that. Can you say it? <laughs> Woo! -hoo! 44 days. <laughs> And I know we got a bunch of Auburn folks in here, but how many Alabama fans we got in here? That's all right. Roll Tide, there you go. There all right, you wait a where's Auburn folks? Let's put them out back first. Roll Eagle. Out front we get no, out. Stop. All right, go. Hey, I got to mention this yard sale or I'll get in trouble. Uh -huh. This yard sale season, I know it's going to be hot it's tomorrow and Saturday, but go to 103 Hammond Street right over by Jiffy's and go to a yard sale. My mom and aunt, they sell a bunch of stuff. Are they so selling you? Sell. They might do it. Put me, there I am right there. I'm ready to sell. So. Yeah. Uh, ready to show though, starts up today for anybody that wants to see it. But you have to get up early in the morning to watch it. So set your alarm clocks and get up. The British Open, or the, as they call it, the Open, starts this weekend. Hey, we got another. Uh, we got our 10 U Wild Devils here today. But we also got the 13 under Limestone Hammers. They'll also uh, be at the Dizzy Dean State Tournament. And uh, congratulations to them. Coach Legs, little girl Lily, they're at state USAA State Tournament right. in Gulf Shores, and they won two games yesterday. So congratulations to them. Emmett Smith is going to be at the Boys and Girls Club North Alabama fundraiser July the 20th, one of the greatest of all time. You want to go see him? Be at the program starts at 6 o'clock. Emmett Smith, even though he played at Florida, he's one of my favorites. Hey, for y'all Auburn folks, one of your favorite coaches of all time, Tommy Tuberville, he's getting into TV business. He is joining ESPN as a college football analyst. They haven't decided what days he's going to be calling, but he said it could be anywhere from Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. So Tommy Tuberville will be on the air for you Auburn fans to watch. And all y'all love him so much. Alabama man set a Mississippi bull shark record from Mobile, Alabama. He caught a 354-pound, four-pound bull shark. I saw it in Swan Creek walking the trail. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> the previous record was 203 pounds, so that's a big difference. And one final thing, Jamie, they're building that new town, Madison, over there right off Zert Road. And there's a possibility that they could build a baseball stadium and the Mobile Bay Bears could be coming. Oh, I heard that yesterday on Dale Jackson's show. And the, yeah, Coke Kiewit was talking about it too. <clears throat> so that could be coming to us. So, I doubt it. Well, you finish? So, Back to you, Jack. Let me talk about my favorite subject, which is me. All right, now, hey, Brad, we got any photographs? Let me see something. Hey, that's me on the right. Grayson Bailey. There's my, there's my high school man. man. Who can, an Auburn graduate himself. If you got some yard work, I mean, a fancy landscaping job to do, he's your man. Grayson Bailey Landscaping, the number one landscaper in the whole world, lives right here in Athens, Alabama. And next, 
Yep, yesterday I had to kill some time, so I took Zorro. This turned out to be disastrous, but I took uh, <laughs> Zorro and Maddie, and all of a sudden, right after that, Maddie says, I'm sweaty, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm leaving. So she takes <laughs> off, starts walking back toward the Hummer the other way. I said, Maddie, Maddie, <laughs> Maddie! She kept walking. Hey, before I go to our entertainers, I'm going to talk about a great football legend that passed away last week. Mm -hmm. Does anybody remember the name, the great Babe Pirelli? Yes. Yes. Ah, you remember? Mm -hmm. Let me give you a, what was his nickname? Babe. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> what was his nickname? Must not have been Babe. It wasn't the great Bambino. Louisiana Lightning. A goal finger, because he held on so many extra points and field goals and was a perfect holder. Who did he back up? Most famous quarterback he backed up. Bard Starr. Hmm. Am I wrong about that? He could have, but that's not the answer. Another Alabama quarterback. Joe Namath? Joe Namath. Oh, he sure Broadway did. Joe. He may have backed up Bart Starr. You could be right on that. You probably are. Because what was his coach that first made him famous? He made the coach famous. Webb Web Eubank? Lombardi? Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant. Yeah. Way to go. That's Boy, right. Audrey, yeah. You know it all over there. All right. Great. Right now, you ready? Yes, all right, let's go local and look. All the way from Russellville, Alabama. Will... Stoltz, just like results. Okay, got him down. From Russellville, let's go local and loving it. Y'all, hang on. All my buddies said there ain't no doubt. All you do is create an account. Put up your best picks. Wait on the chicks to click. Well, next thing you know, guess I had about a dozen or so. Right there on my profile page, like in every post I made. Been the last woman I wanted to see. Started friend requesting me. Mama's on Facebook checking up on me. Seeing all the posts, I don't want her to see. She's friending all my friends. The updates never end. Sending me event invites, expecting me to say I might. I just click ignore. Next day there'd be three more. She put a pics from my middle school dance. Tag me and my corduroy pants. Lots of zits and bowl cut hair. She's sharing what she should not share. I love her, but she's stalking me online. I swear that's the only reason why. Mama's on Facebook, checking up on me, reading all the posts. I don't want her to see. She's friending all my friends. The updates never end. And every time I'm tagged, I'm scared to look. Mama's on Facebook. I keep hoping that some online virus gets her. But until then, I'll be hiding out on Twitter Cause mama's on Facebook Checking up on me Reading all the posts I don't want her to see She's friending all my friends The updates 
Thank y'all for getting up with us on this Thursday morning. We've got Stan McDonald, a holdover from live, Yellowhammer TV Live with Dale Jackson. Yeah, Stan good? McDonald, a big part of that, Thursdays and Fridays. And, you know, we came up with that idea, what, two months ago? And it, yeah, we did. And it's, now it's come to fruition, and it's great to be out here in the early morning times. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you old farm boy, you can get up early. Stan, a practice in a real estate attorney, and I guess can do just about anything. and known him for a long time, and a big Auburn fan, but we won't hold that against him as he is up here on this program. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of stuff going on. That, that's the reason I get you to hang over on Thursdays where we can talk about it. Yeah. Right now, it's, and we'll educate y'all in case y'all miss Dale's show. I won't get bored y'all with a lot of politics, but you can see Dale's show on Yellowhammer at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Yellowhammer TV. Is Jeff Sessions done? Well, it's, look, that's the big breaking news right now, to be honest. And I think you're going to be hearing about it for several days now. But Donald Trump just decided last night in an interview with the New York Times to uh, basically publicly criticize uh, Jeff Sessions. And you know, Jeff Sessions is not a guy who necessarily needs this job. Jeff Sessions is a guy who you know, doesn't have to be attorney general to be somebody. And if I were Jeff Sessions, I'm sure that he's really... Now, I know Dale mentioned this morning, but there's no chance if he quit, he'd run for governor, is he? Well, uh, oh, there is a chance. I, I think that's what makes it all interesting because there could be that chance, sure. I mean, I like to sometimes equate, uh, you know, politics to uh, SEC football. The reason it's exciting is because, you know, what you think won't happen is what will happen sometimes. That's why there needs to be a good-looking political show done in state of Alabama. That's exactly right. Do you know anybody that might uh, right. qualify for that? We got, we got some good. You guys Kay got Ivey, 100 year, I mean, 100 year, 100 days in office. Mm -hmm. and one of the most popular governors in the nation right now, according to the polls. Yeah, yeah she is. And, and I'm not taking anything away from that, but she comes at a good time because she's on the, she's on the tail end of... Uh, you know, Bentley, who's been a, a, a good, bad example. the best governor Alabama ever had, according yeah, to him. Yeah, according to him, that's right. Why but is he, he saying that? I well, I don't. They, they need to leave him alone, Jamie, to be perfectly honest. Now, he's sick? not saying, he's, well, I just, I would, you know, they need to leave him alone. Well, he said it. <laughs> they didn't force him to say <laughs> I it. That. I know that. <laughs> All right. Changing subjects a little bit right here. O.J. Simpson, your buddy Wayne Wolf, came on my show when I was at Channel 48 <laughs> back Whenever when he, when he got murder, double murder there, uh -huh. I brought Wayne Allegedly. up that day. Allegedly. Allegedly. And he Wayne came innocent. up, and I said, Wayne, 5 o'clock in the morning, Channel 48, Wayne said, hey. I said, Wayne, what's the verdict going to be? He said, there ain't as clear as a bell. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. No way. Innocent. I don't think I've seen Wayne since then. <laughs> Wayne practices law in Madison County, Alabama. <laughs> He apparently wasn't familiar with the jury pool in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. All right, O.J. is supposed to get out today, and all indications are he will after serving nine years. Right. Seventy years old. You think he'll get out? Well, I think so. That's what I understand. You know, they've got prison overcrowding out there, and they like to get rid of people that they don't think are so a real danger. So will he be a big celebrity, you think, when he gets out? I think so. Well, you know, in certain circles he will be, yes. Uh, absolutely. I mean, but we all know he was guilty. Well, I think he was. Yeah, but, you know, it's a... In the, uh, in the uh, American judicial system, you're not you know, guilty until uh, 12 people say that you are. Mm -hmm. And so he, he survived that. He wove through it. And, um, so, but, you know, I think that he probably is guilty. Yes. All right. Hey, an article out of USA Today, a bunch of well-known celebrities, and you kids know some of these. Kid Rock said he's going to run for Detroit for uh, Senate. Mm -hmm. The Rock is going to yeah. run for president. Yeah. And wow. Caitlin Dash Bruce Jenner is going to run for a uh, Senate as a Republican. Yeah. Now, which one of them three you got the best chance of getting elected? Okay, in in the order: Kid Rock number one, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner number two, and The Rock number three. The Rock has no chance whatsoever. Caitlyn Jenner, uh, Kid Rock, uh, he's probably got a decent chance, and Caitlyn Jenner uh, could be formidable. What? Mm -hmm. Stan. Yeah. Politics. It depends. As a man or a woman? Well, as a woman. Huh? 
Yeah. I'll come. She's from California. She you, okay, so you're going to fall into oh, the Wayne Wolf trap, and you're going to think about <laughs> that, you're, that she's running from here in Madison County, Alabama. This is California. Oh, hey, uh, Jamie. Uh, the bear as Jen Clampett was saying. Well, I mean, you know, look, I mean, they don't call it the left coast for nothing. Huh? They don't call it the left coast for nothing. That's right. Hey, Will, you about ready to do another song? Yes, sir. All right, well, let's warm up. Hey, Stan, anything else we need to know? Well, yeah, you need to know a lot, Jamie. <laughs> but we don't have that much time. No, no. That's why you're up here. That's to enlighten us all. That's the best answer. Thanks for being Stan. part of the program. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I might come out of retirement and run for something else again. No. Huh? You won't. All right, let's go local and loving it. Here's Will from Russell to do another great song. That last one was good. It was very local good. Local and loving it. Y'all, hang on. <laughs> Here's one for all the guys getting in their boat this morning. Up in Lake Heaven, the water's crystal clear. Everybody's got a bass boat waiting by the pier. The weather's perfect. The clouds are sitting still. And no buckets full And the cooler never spills Every bash you catch will go Six or seven Up in Lake Heaven Up in Lake Heaven You got a friend in the boat It says that right there in the book And I know that he's prepared a place Where we can wed a hook So up in Lake Heaven He's got the sun on his face and the wind in his hair and his shoulders don't hurt. Now he nails every cast. Each crappie that he catches is bigger than the last. And someday, man, I know.
And welcome back this morning. Let's quickly go over the forecast. These boys don't want to wait. There's lots to talk about. 70 degrees out there, actually about 73, 74 degrees. Only that 20% chance of those pop-up thunderstorms, so keep an umbrella close just in case. But the next couple days should be quite nice. It's a Saturday, maybe late. We'll see a pop-up storm. For sure, definitely, actually. But temperatures are going to stick around the 90s. Those are the mid-90s, about 95. Heat index is going to be very hot, too. There's the rest of it coming up right now. Not bad. Just hot. Welcome to summertime. That is about it. Rainy weekend on and off. And don't forget, Valley Smiles brings you this portion of the program. Dr. Alan Coleman is not retired. He has a new phone number. I can't stress that enough. 774-9020 is that number. Go see him, call him, and he says, floss the teeth you want to keep. So keep that in mind, boys. Floss the ones you want to keep because you guys have great smiles in here this morning. Let's head over to Jamie and meet these boys. Hey, I'm the one in blue. Jason Pendergrass, you the head coach? Yes, sir. All right. Tell me a little bit about this team. Introduce your assistant coaches. We got Heath Guthrie here, Clint Vining, and Eric Smith, which is not here with us today. Um, and we're the coaches of the Wild Devils here in Limestone County. All right. Now, what did they just win? What happens from here? All right. We just finished fourth in the state, uh, which qualified us for the World Series. So we leave uh, tomorrow morning we're going down to uh, – South Haven, Mississippi for the Little League World Series. Whoa. How big a deal is that for a local team from Limestone County to be going to the World Series? Uh, it's a big deal. I mean, it's a real big deal for us. Uh, we took this team. We knew that we had a, a bunch of good players, uh, finished second in district, second in the area, and fourth in the state. Uh, we just hope we go down to the World Series and win it all. All right. Thank you all for coming up. Let me get over to the coach. What's the hardest part about coaching kids like this? Them doing what we say. <laughs> you don't ever have to beat them, do you? Just every once in a while. Oh, not, not a whole lot. But I do it. I take them outside the dugout where the parents can't see it. <laughs> oh, okay. And you really go from there. Hey, Clint, did you do our show once before when you was a kid? Yeah, well, uh, it was about 10 years ago or so, but uh, when, with Joe Stovall. Yeah, when, Joe, uh, when Joe was alive, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Any uh, different in coaching than being on TV and selling real estate like you used to? Yeah, this is a lot more fun. <laughs> it is. All right, let's take time out now to go down the line here and meet all these little boys here and get to find out what position they play. What's your name? Jason Hart. Jason, what position do you play? Center field and right field. Are you the best there ever was? Sometimes. All right, that's all I need to know. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob? Jacob, what do you play? All infield. All infield. So you're that good, huh? So y'all going to win it all? All right, that's all I need to know. Let me just slide on in here. All right, hungry boy, what's your name? Oakley. How many pieces of pizza did you actually eat this morning? Two. Two? Well, there's probably some more over there. Did y'all actually think that was whipped cream on that pizza yeah. over there? I didn't. Huh? Oh, you I did. didn't. What? I didn't. All right, so what position do you play? Third base. Third base. Here's my buddy I saw last week. What's your name? Jake. Jake, what position do you play? First and pitcher. First and pitcher. Who's opening the game up? World Series. Is that going to be you? I don't know. You don't know yet? You want me to tell somebody that that ought to be the way they go? Sure. All right. <laughs> What's your name? Why? Why? What do you play? Uh. uh What's your Leo. name? Leo. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> What's your girlfriend's name? I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. You, you know, you're the talkative one of the bunch, ain't you? All right. Let me know. slide here. Now, I'll get you another donut here. Now. What's your name? JJ. All right. What do you play? Left field or right field? Left field. So you're versatile. All right. Y'all going? Are you making a prediction? Y'all going to win it all? Yes. All right. What's your name? Peyton. Peyton. What do you play? Center and left. What's your girlfriend's name? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. You ain't How old are you? Ten. So are all of y'all ten? Yes, sir. So everybody's ten. You know, I got to take time out right now. Number twelve. Hold my microphone a minute. I'm I'm just tired of talking to all y'all. Can you? Keep talking for me. Hold the mic up like that and just keep. You just go ahead and say whatever you need to say while I take a break. <laughs> huh? Can you? Oh, okay. You know, you can't interview people without saying something. What's your name? Evan. Evan? What position do you play, Evan? Catcher, pitcher, and shortstop. Oh, look right there at that camera right there. Show them big old eyes right there. You play three positions? Yeah. I bet girls are all over you, aren't they? Huh? What? Stop. Stop what? <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> okay, if you're going to do that, come here. Evan, right? Mm hmm You want, here, you want to take my job? No. Nope. You want to interview everybody else? No. Nope. Well, you sound like the talking one in here. Okay, did I already talk to you? You want to do my rest of my job? I'm already forgetting what I'm doing. It's 12, hang on. Come over here. You want to say something else? What's your name? Landon Smith. All right. Hey, why are all, every time I talk to every one of you, y'all are doing like this. Look up. Those are nice shoes you have on, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. What, are, what do you call those? Nikes. I know Nikes. I can see that, but they look like some sort of flip-flop, but they're not. So what do you call those? Uh, slides. Sods? Slides. Oh, okay. Gotcha. What position do you play? Um, shortstop and pitcher. Shortstop and pitcher. All right, thank you. Did I talk to you already? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. You sure? Huh? What? Yeah. We'll save you for last. What's your name? Blaine Smith. If I talk to you yet? Mm -hmm. I have? Okay. What's your name? Keaton. Keaton, what position do you play? Uh, center field, pitcher, third base, and catcher. I'm going to bet. I mean, you play four positions. Now, do you play more positions than anybody on this team? Now, you're 10 also, right? Yes. All right. And number 12. Get around here. What's your name? Trey. Trey? Trey, why is it you tried to take over the microphone for me a while ago and start talking to everybody? I didn't. Huh? Well, I, I didn't. swore you weren't. Were you number 12, aren't you? Yeah. What's your girlfriend's name? What? Now, what position do you play? Right field and pitcher. Right field. You going to open the series up? Yes, sir. All right. So we already know that. Now, did you two think that was whipped cream on that pizza? I thought it was marshmallows. Marshmallows. Is that good? Are you a member of the team? What's your name? Ivy. Do you want to be a member of the team? Uh-uh. You sure? Now, who are you with up here? You got a brother in this bunch? Oakley. Oakley? Oh, okay, the hungry one. Okay, I can yeah. see down there now. All right, now, it also comes to my attention that the coaches told me you guys are like a boy band. So I'm going to give you the microphone. You lead us in that number one song that y'all sang. Yeah, Evan. Come on, Evan. Evan. Now, do y'all know a song, really? Yeah. Okay, here. All right. Hello, it's me. <laughs> Look there in the camera. Hello, it's me. Is that the only words you know? Do y'all not know one song? No. Oh, he is a good singer. No. Oh, Oakley. No. Oh. oh, what do you know? Nothing. Oh, come on. This is your moment. There are millions of people watching worldwide this morning that want to hear Oakley sing. This, I know this ain't, we don't, this ain't American Idol, this is Morning Idol. Get up up here. You gonna say, what do you know? Nothing. What, what? No. Huh? I don't want to do it. Jump. What? All right. I gave y'all. No. Y'all are blaming everybody else for something. I've already sung the song. All right, all right. Y'all turn, everybody face the camera. I'm going to ask y'all one simple question. Y'all give me the answer. What's the number one pizza in Athens, Alabama? Joe's! One more time. Joe's! Y'all going to win? Yes! Y'all going to bring the World Series Championship back to Athens? Yes! So you're going to win? Yes! Jamie Cooper's the best thing ever on television? Yes! Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. You Anything else y'all want to... What? You said one question. <laughs> All right, if y'all win, y'all get a free pizza party from where? Joe's. What's the number one pizza again? Joe's. Y'all win it all. Y'all just donate the free pizza party anyway, Joe. They're going to the World Series. Oh, a bigger one. Okay, all right. You sure you don't have anything else to say? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. You sure? Tell you what don't you do for me. Take my microphone and say we'll be right, we'll be back. And y'all, just say y'all hang on. Y'all hang on. Wait, 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 say it again. Y'all hang on. All right, let's go. Take a break. And now it's time to cruise in with the Mustang Man. Right? The all-star plumber. Best anywhere around right here in Athens. Eddie Pruitt Ford, the number one Ford dealer on this show for 27 years. And my good buddy Brad Stovall, auto body shop, buys all the meat we can get. 
down there feeding everybody down at Brad Stovall's Auto Body Shop. And a big sponsor for the boys, and they just wanted to thank everyone. Y'all know Brad Stovall? Yes, yes he's been a tremendous help, Everybody too. knows Brad. If anyone ever wants to give them donations when they return, they could probably use it for some All right, y'all hang on. We may have a chance to plug y'all again. Y'all were so talkative about last they time. They were. Especially you, number 12. Right. <laughs> Joseph, what we got at car shows? Well, uh, our big car show last week at McFarland Park was a huge success. About 45, 40, 45 cars to raise a lot of money for Eli's uh, block party, the uh, Childhood Cancer Foundation. Uh, got three shows this week. Um, <clears throat> hopefully the rain will hold off. The Pine Ridge Car Show truck what and rain? motorcycle. Well, well she said there was a small We didn't listen to her pretty That's why we listened to Brad Travis. Pop up showers, yeah. <laughs> Down in Somerville, it's uh, twenty dollars per entry. They had tons of stuff they were giving away. I couldn't list it all, so I just listed it was as door prizes. But uh, there's the information on that one, uh, eight to one. Uh, the second one is in. Uh, this is one we're gonna kind of take a road trip, Jamie. Can I pause one second yes, while sir. you're doing this? Hey guys, why don't all y'all come up here and just make a beeline and just uh, form a semicircle up here, and we'll show y'all as much as we can before y'all yeah. depart for the World Series. Continue. Okay, <laughs> we're going to take a little road trip, uh, head up Interstate 65 to. Don't uh, trip on uh, nothing. Don't watch the cables. Yeah, watch the cables. Uh, Bowling Green uh, at the Carcraft Summer Nationals. This is a pretty big deal. If you've ever heard of the Good Guys Show, if you've ever heard of the, um, you know, some of the big national shows, we're lucky to have this one right up the road in Bowling Green. So some of us are going to drive up. I thought you weren't even a member of the team. It's a Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday event. So uh, there's the information on that one. But. Um, Again, com coming up, kind of put it on your yeah. calendar, is the uh, Athens PTO Car Show. It's a charity show on September the 23rd. And then is that sponsored by Joe's Pizza? Uh, yeah, he's actually one of our big sponsors, yes. That's the one oh, he is, so he's up. got money. He's our food vendor oh, okay. for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, that's at the high school. And then in October on the 14th is the one at the Sportsplex. So you'll hear lots of information. There's my email. If you uh, got a car show you want to advertise or... Uh, or be a sponsor of my segment. Hit me up on the shows. You knocked him out on that so far. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Greg Skipworth, hey, what's your new job? I am the ISS coordinator for uh, West Limestone High School. So if you get in trouble, you're going to hang out with me all day. Ah, you oh, God, I, so you, oh, God, I just want to do that. And, and I'm coaching, I bet they're lining up uh, for jump that. off the building. I'm coaching uh, cross country for guys and women, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you went down to SEC Media Days, your regular call in now on the Paul Feinbaum show. How'd you hook up with that deal? Well, I just decided I was going to go down there, and they call it Media Days for a reason because fans are, uh, there's not really a lot of room for fans. And so when you see the media spot showing them, you're in a basically in a 20-foot square, and it's um, the majority of the people there, with the exception of Alabama and Auburn days, are people selling those autographs on eBay. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So when Nick Saban came down, the place was packed and it was crazy. They had all the stage lighting out. It was 20 degrees warmer in there, and <laughs> when he left, there were 12 people left, <laughs> and only two of us were fans. And I was the only one that was there every day. I went in there at 9 o'clock and left at 6. Um, what so does that tell you about your life? I mean, was you just going on that way or what? It's, it's preparing me as a teacher because you have oh, summers okay. off. So you were down there for training? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. So, That's the excuse you're going to go with. Yeah, so I, I got to, uh, I didn't get autographs. I just got, I took pictures with everybody. And everybody was very accommodating. Um, I met Paul Feinbaum and his producer, John, down there. And we talked for like an hour. And then on the last day, uh, there was three of us that are regular callers that went up there and watched the show live. Well, did you mention that you're on this program yes. from time to time? And, it's and the I number ran into one an old board. Huntsville um, newscaster, Harold Bug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bug. he said to tell you hi. Dion's buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I did uh, four... Uh, TV interviews. I interviewed with the Kansas City Star. They must newspaper. have had nobody there that they got to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. people to interview, weren't they? Yeah, they, okay. well, Music Row, or uh, Music Row, Music Row, but uh, uh, Radio Row was crazy, and you see these people walking back and forth. And so uh, Jay Barker was there, got his picture. Um, I got Bradley Bozeman, Calvin Ridley. Michael Butch Rogers. Jones, I want to document his last oh, season. Yeah, ah, yeah, Tennessee. So, yeah. They, could pay, they could walk in the house right now and wouldn't know who they were. Yeah. Me either. I, I know who they are. I wouldn't care. All right, thank you. All right, Joe, <laughs> what's happening now with Joe's world-famous pizza? Uh, we got some live music this weekend. 
and uh, we're praying for rain. On a rainy day, they all come in. Yeah, I mean, it's just so you know, you don't want to cook, you know, can't barbecue. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know that Joe holds the world Guinness Book of Record for tossing a pizza the highest ever in the air? Did y'all know that? What's the best place to eat pizza? Yes. <laughs> and we will uh, confirm in this week, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, at the UNA uh, football games this year. All right. For the high, for Lawrence high school and for the college. Good deal. Good. So that's very exciting. All right. And don't forget the roof for Tim Tebow. Watch him. He'll be in. Uh, hey, I just heard today September. there's no way. See, that's what happens when you get to your age. You, really? you don't read everything. That's what I read the other day. That's why you have a general manager and then you have the owners. What? The, oh, that was not the owner. <laughs> the Wellpons are the owners, and if you know anything about the Mets organization, I don't know they do about crazy. They, they're, they're like <laughs> Nick Saban. They do crazy He's things. He's the Tebow stalker. What? He's the Tebow stalker. Hey, let's get over to the wheel this morning. Get up. Y'all got anything else to say, boys and girls? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold it, hold it, hold it. Birthday? Where? Yeah, we got a birthday. I forgot about that. I'll tell you what, y'all sing happy birthday to him. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Number one. Happy birthday to you. Are you 11? Ten. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Hey, hey Jamie. Birthday. Yeah. Uh, this Saturday, former uh, Alabama star Eric Anders makes his UFC debut. He's 8-0. He just got signed by UFC. He played for Alabama in the 2009 championship. So Who? I'll be saying Roll Tide on Saturday for him. Wow. And he's first. a local. Hmm. Signed with Thanks the UFC. For that. Tad bit of information. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're an Alabama fan. You think you'd know that? <laughs> if he left us, I don't care. <laughs> Typical Alabama <laughs> fan. I don't care. All right. He's well, I'll be here from Russell this morning. What is it? How is correctly pronounce your name? Stoltz. Will Stoltz, like results. Stoltz. Ah, Stoltz. You are a member or president of the North Alabama Songwriter Association. Tell me all about it. Yeah, I'm the uh, co-coordinator of North Alabama Songwriters. That's the division of the Nashville Songwriters Association. So for anybody in the North Alabama area that's a songwriter, that's interested in uh, getting better, interested in playing some gigs, getting to play famous places like the Bluebird Cafe. This show. This show. I should have said that first, but we're uh, the only show that actually puts musicians on. I ain't seen 48 put a bunch of them on, huh? He he said he'd have me on tomorrow. <laughs> the only time they ever had musicians on was when I did a show at 48 many many years ago. But that is the number one t uh, station around here. I'm number two, so you know we'd like to plug ourselves much as we can. Go ahead. But if you're a songwriter and you want to get better, come on out and join us. We meet the third Monday of every month in Muscle Shoals at the Church of the Nazarene on 6th Street at 6.30 p.m. Uh, we have a quick lesson, and then we sit around and play songs for each other, critique each other, help each other get better. You know, right, let me ask you. If so if somebody but wants to learn how to write a song and everybody thinks they can, what's the key ingredient in writing a hit song? Well, for me, it's the idea. You got to have a good idea. You know, oh, I got plenty of ideas. Yeah, if you got a good idea, we can teach you. That's a, that seems to be the thing you can't teach is ideas. But if you got a gift for hearing stuff and knowing what sounds like a song, you can learn how to get better. Do you have to be a musician to write a song? No, we have several people that write lyrics only. We have some people that just play guitar that can't write words, and they come to something like this. They meet each other, and the next thing you know, they're writing hit songs together. We have had people that came through North Alabama songwriters that wound up in Nashville that have songs on the Billboard charts now because of what they learned from coming to our meetings. So third Monday every month, 6.30, Muscle Shoals Church of the Nazarene. And you're also a big buddy of Jim Parker's. Yeah, Jim Parker's one of my best friends on earth. How's he doing these days? Well, you said he's got a number one song coming out, our co-wrote. Yeah, uh, Jim's doing great. He just wrote um, Better With Time, a Billy Drove's cut, bluegrass song, so look for that. It's a great song. It's climbing up the charts. and. Uh, going to be number one here in a week or two. It's my favorite chicken truck. And that's the only one I can name that he ever did. But Jim's doing a great job. All right, what is your aspiration? I know you work at TVA. What are you wanting to do? I, I want to do whatever God has in store for me. I love to write songs. If something happens with them, that'll be good. If I'm supposed to keep on riding the forklift, that'll be good. But I do have a uh, Facebook page. 
If you like any of this stuff, it's Will Stoltz, S-T-U-L-T-S, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, and then WillStoltz.com, S-T-U-L-T-S. So you're taking advantage of your name. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks for coming up this morning. We'll get another song as we go out for this weekend because we'll be back with Dale Jackson's show bright and early tomorrow morning. I'll tune in for that. Well, good to have you up here. You. Entertain us. Thank you. Enjoy it while you can get it. Enjoy it while there's still time. Enjoy it while you can get it. This lesson we call life. Well, a man was born to a bitter mother, broken dad and a bully brother. Fought and fought from birth for his survival. Well, he kicked and clawed, did all he could. Dropped the bad and dug for good Found a way to break the cycle Enjoy it while you can get it Enjoy it while there's still time Enjoy it while you can get it This lesson we all life. Well, a girl was born to a home of wealth, never had to do for herself. Still, she felt so empty inside. Well, she lived and learned, seeked and sought, found peace within. Can't be bought, and happiness is just a state of mind. Enjoy it while you can get it enjoy it while there's still time enjoy it while you can get it this lesson we call life little bitty baby fell from glory brand new chapter same old story out of the dark into the light we all go home till then there's light so enjoy it while you can get it enjoy it while there's still time Enjoy it while you can get it. This lesson we call life. This beautiful thing called life.